Yeah. Why not a ministry of ganja? This is madness cross across several ministries. Jamaica should be brazen enough to establish a ministry to demonstrate how important this crop is and make sure that it is well resourced with the, the, the persons who have done the due diligence. So that, that's one of the recommendations I want to, 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 to see the endorsement of I and I on as a way going forward out of this Roots Festival. And I know Sister um, Makeda and Brother um, Delana Steve right here are hearing. There are two more things I want to say um, just quickly. I want to say that we also need to consistently reaffirm, and this is just repeating what has been said, our target for legalization. Because what the law demonstrates is that the legal language is demonstrating that this is still an illegal product, irrespective of how they try to say decriminalize it, illegal still. And, and the scheduling of the drug is, is, is another part of it. The, the final thing that I want to mention, um, it relates to what we have been talking about, which is the level of, of awareness and education that is not only with the police, but among I and I. The, the National Council on Drug Abuse, as an appendage to this law, has only muddied the water with negative campaigns. There are no campaigns that talk about sacramental rights. There are no campaigns that talk about the science behind ganja. There are no campaigns that talk about the medicine in ganja. What they're telling is that Dutty Rasta smoke ganja and you're going to become worthless. Stay away from this. That's incongruous with the direction of an industry. I think going forward, therefore, in keeping with the amendments which have been made to our constitution about human rights. We need to hear advertisements about religious freedoms and liberties so that not just I and I, but, 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 but all of the population will be clear. Because the, the, the only person who benefits from this you know, is the police who benefits from your ignorance when you are confronted by the law. And the court system is only ad hoc in its application of human rights based on your intelligence. So, so the burden is so much on us to be up to date. And, and there is an obligation from the society to, to, to tell us of the improvements. You're hearing about what needs to be done to give wheelchair access and, and all of the other kinds of things which constitute discrimination to women, etc. We need to be told of the religious freedoms as well because that covers many of our human rights. Because Yes, yes, a very full discussion here. Um, the panelists are uh, Ras Ivar Tafari. First, I right, think you know, a warm applause, please. It's going to be a very engaging panel looking at how we can improve the current regime for Ras Tafari and grassroots benefit. Mr. Vicky Hansen from CLA, Dr. Delano Naya, and the Marshall Center. Give thanks and praise, one and one. Give thanks and praise. Yeah, man, safe. So, we're gonna go right into some uh, seminar looking at cloning. Big Mike, you ready? We're gonna kind of focus on now ones who have come from near and far who want to get some tips as to how to do some cultivation, some better techniques.